Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the native Android and iOS clipboard using Ionic Framework and an Apache Cordova plugin called Cordova Clipboard. So in addition to the Apache Cordova plugin we're also going to be using uh, NG Cordova which is an Angular JS extension set for Ionic Framework applications. So let's start by go ahead and download the uh, ng cordova library it's you can find it on ngcordova.com i've already downloaded it to my desktop uh, the file that we want in particular is the minified version of the job, javascript file uh, so with that said let's go to our terminal and create a fresh ionic framework project so we can do that by running the following And what I'm doing here is I'm creating a blank project on my desktop. Alright, now that the project is created, I'm going to add the Android platform to it. Oh, I'm not in the right working directory, so I'm going to navigate to Ionic Project, and I'm going to try that command again. Now I am on a Mac, so I can build for iOS, but I'm going to choose for the simplicity of this tutorial to only build for Android. Uh, if you're not on a Mac, you cannot build for iOS. Um, but this, this tutorial does work for iOS as well. So now that uh, we have a new project, we need to go ahead and add the Apache Cordova plugin, uh, which manages our clipboard. So that can be done by doing the following. And the plugin was created by Verso Solutions, not Apache Cor not Apache uh, Corporation. All right, so the plugin is now installed for Android. So what we want to do now is we want to open up our Ionic project, and we want to navigate to our www directory, and then our JavaScript directory, and we want to copy the ng Cordova. Uh, minified JavaScript file to the JavaScript directory of our project. So with that said and done, using our favorite text editor and we are going to open it. Alright, so open up the index.html file and we want to add the JavaScript library above Cordova.js. Alright, with that said and done, there's one more thing that we have to do before we can start using NG Cordova. We need to open up our app.js and we need to include it in the module. I also want to clean this up a bit. I'm going to call this example. And I'm going to go ahead and create a controller. And inside the controller, we're actually going to leverage the Cordova clipboard, which is part of the NG Cordova, which we just set up. All right, now it's all set up and ready to go. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go into our index.html file and we want to create a UI for this. So we're going to fancy this up a bit. So let's go ahead and do the following. We're going to reference that controller we just made. Inside of our ion content, and we're going to add a list. Alright, so 
So what we're doing here is we made a list item and we're gonna make use of the on hold functionality, which is a long click. So every time we long click on a list item, it's gonna go ahead and call a, a function that we're gonna make in a moment. We're gonna call it copy, copy text. And in this case, we're gonna pass in item one. That's what our name's gonna be. Let's go ahead and copy this. We're just gonna have a two, two element list. All right, with our UI done, Let's go back into our app.js. We're actually going to make a function now um, to, to process the copies. So scope.copy text. And then we're going to do Cordova clipboard.copy. We're going to pass in the value. And then we're going to uh, handle our promises. Alright, so in our error uh, callback, we're going to say console.error. There was an error copying. And in our other one, we're going to say console. Log copy text. All right. So what we're saying here is we're going to copy um, whatever we pass into the clipboard. In our case, it's going to be item one or item two, and then we're going to use the callback depending on what what happens after that. So let's open up our terminal again. We're going to actually build the project now. I'm going to do Ionic build Android. Almost done. All right, with the project built successfully, now we need to install it. With the ADB, we can run ADB install R, uh, and then we're gonna do platforms, Android, ant build, and then Cordova app.debug. And we just installed it to our simulator. So open up our simulator, and there it is, Ionic project. And we have a project with two list items. So to show us what's going on here, we're going to run uh, the long cat, and we're going to long uh, press one of these items, and we can see copy text, copy text. So let's go ahead and verify that. We're just going to open up a random app. Let's say. The browser is probably a good choice. And we are going to paste in what we just copied. And I'm gonna say it's that one, I'm not sure. All right, so yes, it just pasted in item two because that's what we just copied to our clipboard. So as you can see, we made a app very easily that's compatible with Android and iOS that makes use of the native device clipboard. And that's pretty useful because uh, many apps do require a copy paste feature. And if you were to try to do this with native code, it would probably take a lot more than the uh, five or so lines that I used.